Follow the footsteps of one of the wealthy families who built the heartland of America to the Toner Malley House and Edinburgh Bed and Breakfast. As you enter, you'll note that time hasn't forgotten this over 140-year-old mansion. No detail has been spared, and it's like walking back in time. Past guests claim to have seen or heard odd things in the house. Was it a draft from an open door or light reflecting off a silver plate? Perhaps they have a wonderful imagination, or are there really ghosts in the Edinburgh Bed and Breakfast? Stories of children upstairs, stately men near the stairway, and servants still cooking in the basement. Will the present meet the past when the Oddity Files crew comes to stay at this manor? You'll just have to wait and find out. This is um, the Toner Mealy House, and it was built in 1870 by Jacob Toner. And he had a hominy mill and a flour mill. And he sold the house in 18... Let me think a minute here. 1883. It was winter, it was chilly, and I had a, a blanket wrapped around me. And I'm walking through in the back of the blanket just started lifting up like this. And by then I had so many experiences that I was sort of getting used to it. And I just said, put that down, it's chilly in here. And it went back down and I just kept walking, you know. So it's, oh, it's wow. interesting living in a house like this. I saw someone dressed in this dark outfit, and he's not a real tall man, and he's kind of slight, and I saw him once at the base of the stairs, and I saw him another time, broad daylight, driving down, standing next to the cottage there, and I kind of thought, you know, who is that? And I did a double take, and then he was just gone, and I think it's the same person. So, so it's more wondering. than just noises that you hear, oh, yeah. you see. Oh, I, yeah, I haven't even gone into that, but yeah. And, and before I lived here, I would never, if anybody told me that, I would have been like, yeah, all right, what have you been, you know, taking or something. I woke up, um, it was almost 4.30 in the morning, and I saw a little boy standing at the, almost to the end of my bed, down my bed, and, and, he, and I kind of sat up, and he looked at me, and looked at him, and now, now I'm waking up, you know, I'm going, what is this kid doing in my house? How did he get in here? You know, I locked my doors, didn't I? I'm thinking, what is this kid doing here? And I looked at and he looked at me, and he ducked down behind my bed. Well, a minute later, the bed starts moving like this, and next thing you know, the bed is doing this, and I'm thinking, oh no, this is like, you know, in those horrible reasons, oh, I mean, yeah. this can't oh. really be happening, right? And I think, oh my God, no one's going to believe this, they're going to think I'm crazy. So I just finally yelled, I will be out of here in about 30 minutes, go away! And it stops. We were lucky enough to have Bill come by and let us interview him about his experiences at the Edinburgh Bed and Breakfast. So we had a table here, and we explained to her that this was the kitchen, the original kitchen, uh, back in the day, and it was very quiet in here, and I started to provoke uh, questions being, you know, we knew this, we knew this was the kitchen, um, there's men down here in your kitchen, you know, what do you think about that, because we weren't, men weren't allowed in the kitchen, and I just started getting more loud, and more progressive in my questions. And I was standing about right here with a table in the center of us and had an investigator to my left and one to my right. And the, the guest, she was across and I raised my voice one last time. I said, if you want, you know, let us know something. You're here somehow. So, and all of a sudden, I mean, I felt a burning sensation in my back and I lifted up my jacket and I had, it looked like two claw marks that were, three, uh, three claw marks that were going da down, if I remember right, they were going down, oh, wow. down across my back. And the basement? Yeah, so the basement has these like <laughs> hybrid cricket spiders, because uh, we went down there to get some B-roll, and I was just walking down the stairs, like slowly opened the door, and then something like brushed my leg, and I saw John still <laughs> quite a bit behind me, 
and I was like, something just touched my leg. Like I'm not, I'm not crazy. It's way too early. And um, and like I look down at the camera and I see this like thing like that big around. It looked like a spider, but it jumped up like two feet in the air. And then like another one came out. I was like, fuck that. Dude, something just fucking touched my leg. Hmm? I swear, something just brushed my leg. So, holy oh, shit, it's a jumping fucking spider. They're everywhere. Holy shit. Okay, so we are at the... The Edinburgh Bed and Breakfast at the Toner Maui House. Um, we've heard some stories about some things that went on down here, and from what I understand is that y'all don't like men down here in the kitchen. I don't blame you. They tend to not clean up their messes, and... Well, at least we can cook. I can make a mean grilled cheese. And we would love to have a sign of your presence. Can you make a sound or touch one of us or light up any of our equipment? Can you give us a sign of your presence? Can you let these men know that they're not welcome in your kitchen? Let me just try it on my camera. Here, hold this. Right. No, but I just saw it was one of the things fly across the screen. Just that here with that somewhere. Do you guys know there's little demon monsters out here? You didn't tell me nothing. What the fuck? What was that? What? I nothing. <laughs> Clayton, what? It was probably one of those demons. <laughs> no, boy, it was a spring. Yeah, something flew across my screen. Touched the just a second ago. Back my neck. There was a noise over here. That's why I asked you if there was a mouse. Right, and then, then saw really I saw something fly across the screen. Let's just want to hold it. It touched you. I need you to give us more. Did someone down here touch the back of my neck earlier when we were talking? If it was one of you, feel free to to do it again to touch any of us. Um, you know, we're we're fine with that. That's what we want you guys to do. But if it was and not a mutant spider. <laughs> Let us know. Oh, this thing. All right, so we're going to conduct a spirit box session. Can you tell us the name of anybody that's down here? Does it bother you that we're all down here? No? All right, if it doesn't bother you, then why won't you come out and, and cooperate a little more? How many spirits are down here with us right now? Boys? 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 What? All right, boys. Uh... Boys? You want the boys out of here? Can you say any of our names? Can you say any of our names? Can you say any of our names? Someone down here need help. What was that? That was help. That was a child saying help. Is there a child down here that needs help? Yes, it would Oh my god. god. It was a help. It was very, that part was very clear. That was a yeah. voice that wasn't music. And the K2 went off at the same at time. At the same time. Yes. And I just happened to be pointing at it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm ready to call it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. We decided then to split up. 
and see if we could drum up some more activity in smaller groups. All right, so I'm here in the library, which is on the first story. It's actually a pretty cool room. Tony, Ginny, and John are upstairs, and then Chris and Kitsy are downstairs. Okay, so... Tony has a camera. We have a camera in the corner. Make yourself visible to any of those. Or touch us. Scratch me. Or... We have an EM pump over there that's putting energy out that you're welcome to use to do whatever you need with. Um, did you hear that? Yeah, I did. That was what yeah. I heard earlier I thought was a cat. Did it sound like a cat to you? No, that's not a cat. Sounds, Sounds like, like a scream. Sounds like a girl scream. What you? What you? What you? We got a reporter, right? Yes. So mark that weird noise, baby crying, that cat sound. This was only the first of our EVPs collected on the second floor of the Toner Mallee House. We just want to come down and and find out your story down here. Everybody seems to be completely weirded out about this room, and I'm just not. What are your feelings on it? No, 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 no. It's actually a really cool room. Oh, I totally agree. So, what I want to ask while we're down here is somebody claims to have been scratched down here. I want to know if anybody's going to take responsibility for that scratch. I just want to know why. If, if you need help, we heard on our recorder, uh, it sounded like a child's voice said help. I swear to God, I just heard movement out there. It's just me. I'm going to be here doing some, uh, some K2 sessions, um, seeing if I get anything um, or if we hear anything uh, mainly on the, on the voice recorders. Can you tell me how many of you there are in here? Are you a male or are you a female? Or maybe there's both. I still have this gray box next to me. It's called a K2. Um, you can light up that. Is there anyone in here with me? Go ahead and light up those lights. There's someone here with me right now. really easy. You can just use some of your some of your energy. Come close and light up light up this gray box. Is there anyone in here? Oh, the camera's trying to focus on something. 
little blip on the K2. The camera can't keep focus. Is that, whoa, is that you that the camera's trying to focus on? You trying to step, or move in between the camera and the K2? Yeah? All right, now we're getting something. All right, well I got a little bit of something. Are there multiple? That's are there multiple of you? Oh. So there there's more than one. Here it goes, trying to focus again. Every time that I ask a question that the K2 reacts to, it the camera loses focus. Um I don't really know what that means, but typically if if like you move the camera closer or further away, the autofocus tries to focus on something. And it's almost like the the autofocus is is trying to do the same. It it could be happening right now, I can't tell because I have it facing me. But um yeah, it's weird. Every time the K two blips, the camera loses its focus. Are you still here with me? Light up the K two, you've been doing a pretty good job. Yeah. Okay. Are you Are you happy here? Are you stuck here? Oh, really? Does it bother you that I'm in this room? Oh. Okay. Can you try to Can you try to light those up a little bit more? Oh. That's perfect actually. Yeah. If that was you moving around. Can you do that again? Can you speak to our recorders? Kitchen's to your left and now. Yeah. yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, directly below us is that. Oh yes, yeah, directly. Yeah, you're right. To my left and down. So yeah, that's where the chair is at. Yeah. Are you with us now? What is your name? The fact that I cannot hear anything right now is just crazy that there's this many people. We have three investigators upstairs, two in the basement. I, I just can't hear anything but, but a vent that's on. Um, 
I don't know, it's just, it's a very large house, and you, you kind of get the feeling that there's there's something here with you, but at the same time, it's not like you're, like you're nervous about it, it's just that, I don't know, it, it's, it's a different feeling that I've had anywhere else. Do this many people being in here, do they scare you? Or intimidate you? intimidates you. So I don't know, the K2 is being a little weird. Um, we haven't really gotten much of anything on it all day. And then all of a sudden it it seems like it's somewhat responsive, but um, I don't know, it won't really go past yellow. Um, it was just kind of barely, barely blip into yellow and then I asked it to, to light up a little bit stronger and it did. Um, I don't know. Um, it seems like it's somewhat intelligent. For the first few minutes that I was in here, I wasn't doing anything um, until I started asking it questions. Um, the motion detector hasn't done anything. Um, I don't know, maybe, hopefully we have somebody on the voice recorder. I don't know. I don't know. Jenny had spent some time up in the Rose Room and couldn't believe what she was hearing, so she asked me to join her, and I couldn't believe my ears. Make a noise in this room. Whatever it was, it just made something jingle in here, though. Yeah. Okay, so what the fuck are y'all doing down in the kitchen? I mean, my God. There's a, people are slamming cabinets and... What? Yeah, yeah. And there's a guy talking right underneath us. I mean, look, we've been talking, but no one's moving. We're all sitting down. Uh-uh. I swear to you. Come in here and sit down for a minute. I swear, they haven't moved. Well, Chris isn't even in there. Chris is sitting in the library. We were literally sitting there talking about. I don't even remember what we were talking about. No. Who was just talking She's to going to sleep. Who was talking to you in the hallway? That was the way. Oh, no. John, they, they said that when I got up through there, I said, What are you guys doing on there? Some of you are slamming cabinet doors. Uh, yeah, were, were we moving at all? No. No, dude, it's, it's since Clayton's gotten up here, no. nothing. Absolutely nothing, done. I mean, Chris got up, 
He's walk to the end of the stairs. What would you do when you heard all this like that? Genuine? Yeah. Just, just sitting here. Oh, uh, then let's just try to sit here silent. It's like if you dropped a watermelon. I just, when we were leaving that room, I shook the table, and then those teacups didn't rattle. Like, I shook it. Yeah, and they didn't rattle at all. How, how is that even possible? But then when the like those stones, those stones, they were rattling. Has to move the leg of the table. Like the top of the table won't move, but if the leg moves, it'll. I was shaking the table pretty hard. Yeah. It is. But this is where it almost sounded like all the noises were coming. So that's where I thought all the noises were coming from this area. And what room is this? The name's quarters. Okay, let's just be quiet for a second. <laughs> Clayton, you had your book. Is that what I was? Um, yeah. I, uh, but I didn't know if you all being one. Trying to hear shit now. <laughs> but I need to move. I don't know what those thuds are. It's got to be something. Well, obviously, it's not in here. It doesn't make sense. You try doing the legs? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah like, really shake it. You should take this little, the legs right there. You don't have to. Um, you have to like, go at it. Yeah. No, and it wasn't jingle, jingle, jingle. It was just no. ting, ting. Like a, after much discussion about the thumping and banging and walking and all the crazy noises we heard in the Rose Room, Jenny and Clayton went back upstairs and I made all kinds of noise in the kitchen of what this possibly could have been and here you go. It's like a
What was that? I'm like a little girl. That was a little girl's voice. That's what we heard earlier. I didn't hear anything. Well, Clayton and Jenny didn't hear anything downstairs. We're still not sure what the sounds were upstairs, but check out the static recorder caught that Clayton and Jenny heard. We did one more round of small group investigations that night. Tony and Clayton headed to the Rose Room, and John, Jenny, and I headed to the basement. All right, so somebody's here is with us. Are you, if you're a female, turn the light on. If you're a male, turn the light on. So it's a male. Are you over 20? Or were you over 20? Were you under 20? Yes. I'm going to ask you another question since you look like her now. Oh. That's bright. <laughs> That's the brightest it's been. If you'll let the light turn off, I can ask you more questions. I understand you're under 20 years old. I'd like to find out if you're even younger than that. You seem pretty mischievous. Just, just turn the light off for me, please. Maybe ask, maybe ask a question and have it turn off the light for that option. Okay. If you are under 10... Whoa. Okay. So you were under 10 years old. If you were under 5, turn the light on. Okay. Are you under 4? Turn the light on. Earlier that evening, I had set up a static recorder in the hallway right outside of the Rose Room that Tony and Clayton are in. Thank goodness I did, because we captured this response to Tony's question about how old this spirit was. Somebody down here? here. 
Are you a male? I look back sense. here. What? What are you pointing at? Somebody's talking. No shit. Who's Somebody's down talking. here? Grab our shit. Let's follow it. <laughs> I need light. <gasps> what? Somebody just whispered something. Let's go. Let's do this. It wants us to go in deeper, I assume, right? Oh, yeah. oh. Holy shit, it's cold in here. Alright. If you're the one that's been making all the dumping noises that we've been hearing around, if that's you, can you turn the light off? So if that's been you walking around, Turn the light off, all the way. Is there anything we should be worried about here? Yes. See, I don't like it when you all do that. I just want to know about the man who walks into the walls. Hmm. Does he scare you? Turn it off if he does. the light on because the light keeps that man away. Turn the light down if it's true. Does the light scare away the man who walks on the walls? No. But it makes you feel safer? You can turn the light down if that's true. You don't have to turn it off. Just turn it down. I know you're scared of the dark. There you go. Can you flicker the light for me if you turn it all the way bright when you see the man that walks in the walls? <laughs> Fuck you. Where is the man who walks in the walls? Are you in here with us now? So the little boy, when you see them, he turns the light all the way on because it scares him. Yeah. Have, are any of your other family members here? Light it up if that's yes. Is it yes? It, was, it went right back? Yes, okay. So the other family members are here. Is a brother here? Or a sister here? Yes, sister. Is your, sis is your sister with us now? Get real bright if she's here with us. Whoa. Yes. Like I just got a cold breeze over my leg. Is that you? Turn the light all the way off real quick if you just walk up. Holy shit. It's on my face now. I literally feel it on my face. Are you in the bed with him? Turn the light off or yes? It's only on the left side, like they're standing next to me. Yes. Is the sister standing next to me, to my left? Is your sister standing to my left? Yes. I feel it's cold to the left side of me. Yes. Yeah, I know. Like, There's nothing on the camera. Cold next to me. Can you see my leg? We heard a noise in that little doorway. We look to the doorway, and then something comes out of the box. Right? It was loud. It was loud as hell. It was loud and distinct. I don't know what it said because it scared me to death. Well, I. I, and I had my hand over it. Yeah, you were covering it. Was loud it. enough for your, your hand was on it? My hand was over top of it. That's why I was scared, because it talked through her. It talked through my hand. I had my hand over top of the speaker. What? 
Um, but do we know what it said? No, we don't know what it said. Who was that? Who was with us in the other room? Can you come into this room? Were you trying to get us into this room? Is there anyone here now? I don't feel like right. You don't? Not really. Did you hear something over there? Yeah. If you're in here with us, show us. You're here. There's somebody in the corner? You want to try the box for you? Absolutely. All right. Okay. Ready. Ready. Holy shit. Uh, what? <laughs> Can you come in here with us? K2's going off. K2's going off. Are you trying to prove to John that it's not a radio station? It's not. Holy shit balls! Okay. Um, is that from the Wi-Fi? From the Dude, I am nowhere near it. Back up. Is it me? Back up. It's me. Yes. If that's you talking and making the lights light up, can you can you make the lights light up again? Yeah. All the way to the top. Yeah. Holy shit. Are you a male? Yeah. Oh! Alright. That was you guess. That was you guess. And the male. What is your name? Are you mad at what we said earlier? Yes! Or was a female saying well, yes, she's pissed. That's the same voice as the other I will only apologize for that one. Can you make the lights light up one more time so we know you're still here? I can't. Um, sorry. Why are you so down here? Are you stuck? Did you get Molly on that? Flashlight. Flashlight. Holy shit. Ah! Be a cricket fire. Be a cricket fire. Oh! If you're down here with us, could you keep the crazy crickets out of this room? Okay, it's okay. Thank you. John, can you tell us your name? Harold? This is the area where the, she called him a stern man. Is. Okay. He does not like taunting or provocation. Okay. And we made a good bit of that earlier. Okay. Is his name Harold? I don't know. She didn't say. Harold, are you the stern man? Please do something to show that you're still here. Make our right side up, talk through the box, touch my arm. Um, Tony and I are going to go back downstairs. Don't, don't be afraid of the man that walks through the walls. He's, he's in the same situation that you are. So you and your sister just play with things. <laughs> Thank you.